Hello, folks. Do you know Donald Trump? And are you familiar with the word promises? Well, it's not only the talk of the town, but also a well-established fact that Trump was not able to fulfill the promises he made to the people during his tenure of 2016 to 2020. Now, it is 2024, and the next presidential election is coming up in November. Donald Trump is again on a spree of making false claims and building castles in the air for people who once believed in him. Well, if his last stint in the Oval Office is any indication, it's clear he's about as committed to keeping promises as a goldfish is to remembering where it left its keys. I mean, claiming to be a stalwart Republican while playing fast and loose with the whole presidential stature thing? That's like saying you're a diehard vegetarian while secretly snacking on bacon behind closed doors. Seems like the word and graphics of Walt Handel's men are coming true. At the outset of his 2024 campaign, Trump vowed to settle scores with his foes in a second term, regaling a crowd of conservative activists with his tall tales. Yet, as the Iowa caucuses loom closer, the former president appears to be backtracking, citing a potential lack of time for vendettas. He told a newspaper reporter, We're going to make this country so successful again, I'm not going to have time for retribution. The most absurd part of this is that these words are coming from the same person who said in the initial days of his campaign, I am your retribution. Well, certainly an LOL moment for everybody once again. Well, we're not all in shock by this blatant rejection of his own words. But let's take a look at how many promises Trump didn't fulfill even after making a presidential commitment in front of thousands of people. Mr. Trump repeatedly questioned the military's alliance's purpose, calling it obsolete. One issue that irked him was whether members were pulling their weight and paying their bills. In one New York Times interview in July 2016, he even hinted that the U.S. would not come to the aid of a member invaded by Russia. But as he hosted NATO's Secretary General at the White House in April of 2018, the U.S. President said that the threat of terrorism had underlined the alliance's importance. He said, I said it was obsolete. It's no longer obsolete. Don't be surprised, folks. That's how people change. Oh, and then there's another one. He promised to toss out the Affordable Care Act and give us something beautiful. Yet, here we are with over 7 million folks suddenly left high and dry without health insurance since he grabbed the wheel. And there's more to it. In the midst of a global health crisis, he's knocking on the Supreme Court's door, begging them to scrap the law with about as much foresight as a blindfolded dart thrower. But hey, who needs a plan when you've got such a stellar track record of empty promises, right? Sometimes, it's difficult to decide what he is. Liar, promise breaker, or just plain dumb. Well, only God can tell. Donald Trump will likely go down in history as this country's most moronic president. So what exactly is the dumbest moment? He Seems like Robert De Niro spoke for all of us when he said, I, he, he's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> On the other side, look at the former president's words. When I come into office, I promise to look at the world's challenges with open eyes and very fresh thinking, Trump said in the first words of a speech on December 16th, 2017. Yet another point, he said, while previous presidents have made this a major campaign promise, they failed to deliver. Today, I am delivering. What exactly were you delivering, dear Trumpet? We gotta see. But no, no, no. Maybe we are wrong here, and he's the hero we never knew we needed. Sworn to rescue American workers in the pandemic trenches, yet somehow managed to sprinkle 80% of the tax goodies from the stimulus package onto the laps of millionaires and billionaires. Meanwhile, as 21 million folks find themselves in the unemployment abyss, there's no stimulus check parachute in sight. But hey, who needs financial relief when you've got such a knack for making the rich richer? Am I right? As your president, I have kept every single one of these pledges to the American people and to the American worker without exception. Every one has been done. Did you see the difference between his actions and his words? Then the grand promise of making China foot the bill for those shiny tariffs on imported goods. But lo and behold, it seems like Trump's piggy bank is the one feeling the pinch. 
With the trade war bill ringing in at a cool $34 billion annually for U.S. consumers, not to mention bidding adieu to the 300,000 American jobs, it's starting to feel like the real winners here are the dust bunnies under the White House rug. And let's not forget the cherry on top, a $22 billion tab, courtesy of American taxpayers, all to throw a lifeline to farmers caught in the tariff crossfire. Who knew economics could be such a wild ride? All hail Trump, all hail. Another instance, he swore he wouldn't have any time for golf if he snagged the presidency, but turns out he's been hitting the greens more than a professional caddy on a caffeine high. Over 250 rounds. That's enough tea time to make Tiger Woods blush. And get this, during the pandemic, he clocked in more visits to his golf clubs than a normal person makes to the washroom per day. The cherry on top, the bill for all this swinging? A whopping $136 million. Looks like someone's got their priorities on par. Or should I say, forgetful. Here's a visual representation of how Trump spends the country's money. American workers. He certainly talked the talk about playing hardball with companies on keeping jobs in American soil and even waved around the threat of consequences for those shipping jobs overseas. But the surprise, surprise, since he moved into the big chair, outfits like GE, Carrier, Ford, and Harley Davidson have been playing musical chairs with jobs, sending thousands packing offshore while still cashing in on those sweet, sweet tax breaks. And if that's not enough, Federal contractors have joined the offshoring party, cranking up the volume of job exports. Looks like someone needs to check if their bark matches their bite. Isn't that enough to prove that he's just the model of integrity? He swore up and down that he'd keep his distance from his business ventures while holding office. Somehow, his pockets are still getting lined by his property empire. And let's not forget his grand plan to tear up the Iran nuclear deal and whip up something even better because nothing screams better deal like bringing the world to the brink of war, right? And hey, remember when he pledged to slap term limits on Congress? Well, it seems like that promise got lost in the shuffle faster than socks in a dryer. But hey, who needs follow through when you've got such a knack for empty pledges? Trump's refusal to refute charges that he was making infirm promises, telling falsehoods, admit their inaccuracy, or attempt to wiggle out of them by equivocating demonstrates either his lack of touch with reality or his conviction that he does not have to explain himself to others. Insistence on his false statements claiming that he is able to deliver everything he promised of is an assertion of power. As we gear up for the 2024 election, with Donald Trump poised to snatch the Republican nomination, any dreams of him leaving behind his trail of broken promises and a pension for spinning tall tales seems more like a fantasy novel than reality. Deception seems to have booked itself a return ticket. The political landscape, never the sturdiest over the past few years, is once again doing its best impression of a wobbly top. Truth. A rare commodity in today's political circus is pulling a disappearing act right before our very eyes. Even some within Trump's own party find themselves worn out from the constant cycle of outrage. But nothing from all that is impacting Trump in any way. He's again on the go to gather up as many falsities as he can to give an even worse hope to the American people. For more such inside news and analysis from the world of politics, please like and subscribe this channel. Make sure you don't forget to hit the icon button 